In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send emails from Excel when you make changes in the body of the letter without having to revisit the code. So I'm working with a company right now and they are um, uncomfortable with people um, playing with the code because they're, they're not uh, overly computer savvy. And so they want something set up so that they can change what's sent out to the customer every month without um, without them having to touch the code that that sends it and so I have um, I have me and Mickey Mouse and Fred Flintstone as my uh, email addresses on this list but on sheet two I have this is where you enter the subject the deals happening in May um, this is uh, the second line I want to test. This is where I'm testing to show you that it doesn't matter what how it's formatted here. It's just going to come out as one line in the next one. And then uh, the line two is this is a special deal happening in May. And then line three is Joyce is away on uh, leave. Please contact Robert. Um, so these are things that could be ch changed in a basic template every month and nobody needs to touch the code. And so let's send this email. So I've got a, um, a button link to my code here and that's, we're going to send the email. And so there we have, and so here's Fred Flintstones. And so, um, the subject, the subject where we put here is this is a deals happening in May. And then, um, and then further down, it says, um, this is uh, line two. This is a special deals happening in May. And then um, this is where I was testing, I was showing you that um, I want to test something, whether all the data how will have the same format as it appears in the email. So everything you put in one cell is going to appear in one line. And then the last thing is we put at the bottom of here, that Joyce is away on leave. So Jared Joyce is away on leave, please contact Robert. Now, um, this is just a basic email that I send out myself. Um, and so let me show you what the code looks like. So I've titled my code as do not touch. Um, subject is a string and subject is right here. And then uh, the rest of this is all pretty standard. My file name and attachment is my, uh, um, is my uh, logo that I have on the bottom. Now um, I've defined subject as sheet, sheet two, which this is cells uh, two, three. So this is the second, second row, uh, third column. And then the same thing with stuff uh, and stuff one and stuff two. Now, um, the name comes from um, the sheet one next to the email address. And so then we start the body and say hello and then whatever the name is there. Um, and this is just a generic thing that's gonna, what's, what's new that's happening this month. So it's, um, it, this doesn't change. And okay, so now we're going to put stuff one in here, and stuff one is this. Um, and stuff one is this is a spe special deals happening in May, and then um, then we go down and uh, stuff just straight stuff or straight stuff two is Joyce is away. Please contact Robert. And so you can see that whatever you put in here is going to appear on your email and you're um, good to go. Okay, so now let me show you what happens when you change the code or change these things. So let's, um, so without them visiting the code, they can say special happening days, or happenings in June. Um, and you can, uh, I don't know what to, special deals that are happening in here. We'll change this to June as well. Um, and then you can change uh, Joyce is away on leave. Please contact Rob. Joyce is back from leave. We will put in. Um, Joyce has returned from leave. Okay, so now what you do is you, you send email again. 
Okay, so you have your subject says June, um, special happenings that are happening in June, and then you have on the bottom here, Joyce has returned from leave. So you could put in as many lines as you wanted to appear and change without anybody touching the code. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.